Okay, so today I'm going to talk to you about transfer. There's a, a bunch of different ways to transfer your artwork. Um, you can freehand it, which is just taking a pencil and you just draw what you see. That can be difficult and very time consuming. Not saying that it can't be done, but um, it definitely takes a lot longer um, that I've found because you have to, I mean, I would measure out things to make sure I have all my sizes properly. Um, and in the end, you know, we're all just using tools to help us progress. Now, projectors you can find on Amazon, you can find them in your local art store, you can find projectors just about anywhere um, that you're looking for one. And what it does is it can hook up to your phone or it can hook up to your computer and then you put the picture in, the, in your computer that you want and it will project it up onto your paper or onto the wall and you can tape your paper on the wall or even tape your paper on on your surface and then you draw what you see like you put down your um, your baselines I guess and the next one is the one that I use I will get a black and white photo of the picture that I'm drawing and I will you know print it out and then if you have a light box or if you don't, I just tape mine to a window. I work out of my kitchen, so it's quite easy and it's really small in my kitchen too. So I don't have a lot of room for a light box or for any extra equipment, but what I do is I tape it up backwards to my window and then I take either chalk or a, a soft pastel and you'll wanna make sure that you hit all the spots that you need to trace onto your paper. After that, I take down the picture and then I put it on my final piece of paper where I'm gonna draw everything. And then I trace the outlines of everything that I want to show detail in. So the reason I like this one better is that I can look at my black and white value study and at the same time I can see where my lines are so I know where I'm at when I'm looking at my colored photo. So when I'm looking at my colored photos, sometimes I'll get lost and I can just easily glance over at where my lines are and be like, oh yeah, that line there is next to the eye and it's only this far away from the nose, so I need to make sure that I keep that value separated. So that's how my mind works. To me, that's easier. Now, not everybody likes that way and that's okay. Um, I will say that um, you know there have been people, and I've quoted this before, but there have been people who will say that tracing is cheating or gridding is cheating or, you know, but honestly, how I feel about it is that it's a tool. I can definitely, I mean, I know that I can freehand, but this has saved me at least 20 to 30 hours in just the whole entire from start to finish of a portrait. Um, it used to take me, when I'd freehand, it'd take me at least eight hours just to get the, <laughs> just to get my base sketch down and I was just pulling my hair out because I'm like, there's gotta be a better way. And there is, there's lots of tools for us to use and don't let it um, get you upset if someone says that. But the quote that I was talking about before is, you know, nobody shames an accountant for having a calculator. So these are all just tools for us. Now, in my pieces, it is my firm belief that I am displaying my ability to color and show value and to show the strokes and just the, the picture that I'm trying to portray. So it's the talent is in the color. But um, if I were to pull up a picture, and you may be with this case as well, but if I were to pull up a picture and, and to ask you which one did I trace and which one did I freehand, I highly doubt you'd be able to tell. So it's just a matter of who is saying it. Um, don't let anyone get you down about that, or how you put your art out there. Um, honestly, just do it. I mean, and you don't have to share that you trace with anybody, but I do. I trace all of my art pieces on just because it saves me time. Um, and if it saves me time, it saves me money. So, I mean, I don't want to sit all day drawing an outline, you know, when I know that I could just quickly trace it and get to the coloring part, which is the part that I really enjoy. You can also use what's called the grid method. 
Now, I'm not familiar with this one, but I know that you, obviously you draw a grid on the, you know, on the picture that you're gonna draw, and then you draw it on your paper, and then you follow the shapes in the grid boxes to make your outline like so close to what you're drawing so that you get everything that you need to get on there, your base, your base sketch. So I hope this has helped you. I hope that you seeing this stuff can help you um, visualize how to do this. And I hope that um, it helps you get faster and more efficient. So you have a good day and I can't wait to see what you create.